So a while back, I was mentioning that I needed some people to message me about some of the tanks they were keeping, and this is why. So I wanted to create like a very basic fish tank tracker. Um, I know people use like habit trackers and things like that, um, even for groceries or shopping. Um, so I thought it'd be an interesting concept to play around with this um, platform called Notion, which is generally used as a note-taking app. Um, like I have all of my school notes here, for example. Um, and then I created like a sample tank. So here, if you click, you have a 10 gallon, you can put a banner picture, a little icon, and then you can have information such as the date established, any tags that you might want to add, for example, freshwater, saltwater, breeding tank, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the temperature that you want to keep the tank at, the pH, and any images that you want to upload can be put here if you don't want them to be here. So you start, you have your tank image, and then you can look at the species in the tank and the plants. And for example, down here, you can add extra decor, uh, decor that you might have and any special notes about this tank. For example, if it was medicated at any point in time or the last time you added a new fish, etc. Um, so here you can add the common name and the scientific name, then the number of males and females, or if you don't know, you could just put them in the unknown column, as well as the age that they are or the date that you got them. Um, that way, if one of your fish dies, you can kind of keep track of that. The beginner's tracker is very similar um, and has this nitrogen cycle. So when you're first cycling the tank, um, and this may, the speed may vary depending on what size tank, what you add to it, et cetera, et cetera. But you can track it here to see if your tank is done cycling and when your tank is done cycling. Um, so this, you can print this out um, if you would rather have this in like a paper format just to like stick on the side of the tank. So here's how you would use it is you'd click this new button, you'd title your tank, so let's say 20 gallon. Um, it's, you know, it's a freshwater tank, it's species only. So let's say you want to use the breeder template. So the breeder template is different from the beginner template because it allows you to track the parent generation, the F1 generation, the F2 generation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, since it's a species only tank, we're only gonna have one species. Um, let's just say we're doing betta splendens, right? Betta fish. Species in the, or, yeah, that's not a good, this is not a good example. Let's just say we're doing guppies um, for sake of simplicity. We have three males and nine females, um, zero unknown, and we'll say they're six months. And if you want to change the order of these, you can. You can delete columns as well. So for example, on this one, and it won't change the original template. So if I don't want to have any unknowns on this one, then I'll just change it. Um, plants, we'll just say I have guppy grass. Approximate quality, quantity, 50 stems. Um, no special notes. So here, for the parent generation, let's just say male albino koi guppy. All right, so here we have the male and female. So we have one here. You can put that there. And, you know, female, we can put that there. So then we said we had three males and nine females. Sometimes it can take a while, but let's just move on. And then let's say you have a bunch of offspring, right? You say you have, you can create a bullet point list. So we ended up with 20 males. Six died at week four, overfeeding, for example. And then you can go back and look at these things and then say, do more water changes at week four. So you'd go here. You can even go back here and have a special note here that says, do extra water changes around week four or when fry are four weeks old. And then boom, there's your 
there's your tracker. And then, you know, same thing for beginner tracker or, you know, if you're having like a decorative tank that has a bunch of community fish in it. And you can add your own tags, you can add your own pictures. Um, they do have a bunch of like random covers that you can use. So if you just look up like, sometimes you get, sometimes you get like decent pictures um, depending on what kind of fish you're looking for. And then you can change how you see it and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Would you use this? Um, yeah, I don't know. Just share your thoughts.